Yeah, it's a bit wet and a bit damp here in Congleton Town Centre by the Cenotaph this Saturday lunchtime, but it's not dampened anybody's spirits because they're all here to welcome Dan Leonard and his friends who've walked all the way from the National Arboretum in South Staffordshire to here, the Cenotaph in Congleton, to raise money for Congleton British Legion. So let's uh, find out what it's been like. Dan, well done to you and your friends for uh, completing it. How, how long was the trip? So altogether, it's about 45 miles altogether. Yeah. Let's give, give them a name check. Who came with you? So we've got JC who's support vehicle all the way, making the brews. <laughs> and then Nath joined me for the last day from um, Newcastle on the line yeah. all the way to here. Now, you've done the whole route. Yeah. Um, weather's not been lovely, has it, for the last couple of days? What's it been like for you? It was all right until we hit Newcastle on the line and it started raining. It's not the first time that's been said. Yeah, definitely. And then it's rained all this morning, but from the Arboretum, the sun, sun was shining all the way, really. And then... yeah. It was perfect, to be fair. But, but to do what you've been doing, I mean, perhaps nobody can see them at the moment, but you've got these backpacks that you've been uh, yeah. wearing as well, haven't you? They're, they're full stone, you say? You've carried them yeah, on your back. It's, uh, it's been damp, it's been wet, it's been raining in your face. You must feel like you've been jet-washed at times. Um, <laughs> you've got to be made of stern stuff to do that, haven't you? Uh, you just, I think it's just you do every checkpoint each time. And then I've got these to come back to, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> uh, that's got me through. jason has got me through because he says if you give up, I'll leave you there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just, it, it was hard in places. One of the checkpoints, there was no, there was no paths at all. Right. So we had to contend with the traffic. Yeah. Um, that that was a really hard point, but after that, it was it was plain sailing. Yeah. Not okay. on the legs, though, but... It, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, what was the most difficult point? Was it, was it yesterday or was it getting up again this morning with aching legs? This morning wasn't too bad. It was, it was definitely yesterday when we finished at the overnight stop. Trying to order a mixed grill, I had to send Jason up to go and order it for me because <laughs> I could not walk. <laughs> um, I never used a lift, but he wanted to use the stairs. For some <laughs> but yeah, 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 yeah it, we got through it. Do you know what? It's, it sounds like it's been quite arduous, and you wouldn't do it if it wasn't, would you? Let's face it, it's got to be a challenge. But it sounds like it's been a lot of fun as well. Yeah, it definitely has. Um, I've had loads of lads from my former regiment message me, why aren't you running it? Yeah, uh, <laughs> so they got a very nice reply at the end. Uh, but yeah, it, it has been fun. I mean, when we went on West Midlands Radio yesterday, and she asked me, he goes, "You're not stopping?" Are you? I said, "Definitely not." <laughs> and the guy that drove past me chucked a cereal bar out the window. He goes, "There you go, mate. Looks like you need it." Brilliant. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. so you've had plenty of support, not just from your pals, but yeah. but, but from just from members of the public who've seen you going past. Oh yeah. So, to be fair, we've had more beeps coming since Congleton. Because obviously it's the best town in England <laughs> um, than, any, than anywhere. Each, 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 everyone from Congo gets every, behind everyone. Yeah, I mean, you, you're doing everyone. it for a good cause. I know you are. And, and be, being army boys, you'll always say it's not about the individual. It's all about yeah. always about the team. But but there must be a personal satisfaction in this for you. You must be you must be chuffed with yourself for doing it. You know, and, for, and for getting that level of support from people it must mean something to you. Yeah, it's definitely. It's, um, I think it's because where I was before. Obviously, when I suffer with mental health and stuff before I joined the Legion, to where I am now, I, I said, she lost that. Have I just really done 36 miles? He was like, yeah. I was like, oh. He, he didn't sink in until, obviously, we got here today, so yeah, it's been brilliant. Yeah, yeah good. We'll come back to you in a minute, Dan. Let's talk to some important people in your life. We've got Kelly, who's, uh, who's, who's your girlfriend. Kelly, what, what do you think of what he's done and what the lads have done? I just think it's amazing, really. They've all come together and just, I, I was done it. I can't even walk down the street. So I was done it, it's just amazing. Like I'm really proud yeah. of him. We all are to be fair. Yeah. What did yeah. it feel like, you know, watching him coming down past the town hall to the centre? emotional, but I don't really cry a lot, so <laughs> but yeah, it was really, really good. These two, Faith got quite emotional as well. Like they both know how much it means to him. Yeah. And so do I. But yeah, he's done really well. Okay, well we've got Faith and Freddie here. What 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 do you think of what uh, what Dan's done, guys? Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, how proud of him are you, Faith? Um very proud. <laughs> I know, I saw you giving him a big hug when he arrived. That must have been really special for you. Yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. OK, well, he was welcomed to town by, um, well, let's face it, the, uh, the the first citizen at the moment of Congleton. That's how he likes to refer to himself anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Rob Morton, who's the who's the uh, the mayor of Congleton Town Council. Um, I mean, brilliant to see, you know, Local lads doing this kind of thing for the British Legion, isn't it? Particularly this weekend as well. It's absolutely fantastic. When I first met Dan a few days ago, when he was told me what he was going to do, I was totally in awe of him straight away. As I'm in awe of all ex-servicemen, servicemen, 
uh, presently saving. And is it, I think he's nearly raised uh, nearly a thousand pounds so far. So it's absolutely incredible. Yeah, it is. It's incredible to raise the money, but I mean the effort in, involved. I mean the, the weather at the moment is atrocious, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure about you, but I wouldn't want to do what they've done. Uh, definitely not. <laughs> uh, I did a, a much smaller walk the other week, and it took me. Well, I crawled up my stairs, and I had no backpack on me. Uh, out of massage, never walked for two days. So, <laughs> for do what Dan's done, uh, well, everybody should just take a bow to him, really. Yeah, yeah. I think everybody should at least buy him a pint, shouldn't they? Hundred percent. Yeah. I've been told he doesn't drink though. So, if anybody wants to buy Dan a drink, uh, I'll drink it for him. <laughs> <laughs> not the first time that's been said either. Now, here on the end, um, the, the, is, is an un unassuming character in Congleton. Uh, not very many people know Michelle, but no. you're, you're actually Dan's mum, aren't you? I am Dan's mum, yes. Yeah, yeah. Famous because you used to work in the chemist at the bottom of Romney Road. I did, yes, and used to come and visit me every week I or did. every month, didn't did. you, love? Even if I didn't need anything, no, I'd always pop in. come and say hello, because he didn't dare go past. <laughs> and if he was going on holiday, he had to buy me a present. <laughs> Which is true, actually. He did. But let's talk about Dan. What, what, what do you think about what, what your lad's done? Oh, he, there's no words really because I'm just so so proud of him you know you have your ups and downs with your kids and you could strangle them and batter them and all this lot but <laughs> he, I am I'm so so proud and my mum would have been absolutely proud of him yeah. sadly yeah. she's not here she'd have been first one running up there <laughs> even if she was 90 <laughs> yeah he's a good lad and all the, and jace has been excellent and his fam yeah, yeah. Yeah. I noticed and you, you gave him a massive hug when he arrived. I mean, yeah. but that, that, he uh, doesn't hug me very often. <laughs> <laughs> I had a massive hug and I did have a kiss on the cheek when he came back after three months in Canada. But that was three months away, so I think he did miss me then. <laughs> or he missed me, or missed his home comforts. I think that was more or less seeing me. I was, yeah. was going to say, probably missed the home cooking, didn't he? Well, well, he says, yeah. And then there's Nathan as well. He did the second leg with Captain Evans, Steve uh -huh. Evans. And then um, there's got a support off Lynn, which is JC's mum, and uh -huh. little Irish. <laughs> Look at his little face. And everybody, you know what I mean? There's been loads of people who've been sending me messages saying, Dan, good luck. And yeah. We just keep sharing it on Facebook, making sure that everybody knows what he's done. Well, I think he's crackers. Well, Dan and his friends have, have clearly done a, a great thing, haven't they, Michelle? Fantastic job. And yeah. then uh, we've got the Remembrance Room Parade next, and Gary's been fantastic. Harmist oh, yes, as well, yeah, Armistice as well. Yeah, that's true. Absolutely. So, okay. you know. Well, unfortunately, Michelle, I'm going to have to give the last word to your son for once. Oh, you sure? Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's well, talk to... Let's, let's, let's just get the, the, a, a closing word from Dan. So, so, Dan, you, you, you've done this for the, for the Legion. Yeah. Um, I mean, in case anybody doesn't know what the Legion does or who it looks after and, and what its purpose is, you know, just, just give, give non-service people like me, give us an idea of what the Legion actually means to people like you. It's more like a family, really, because you've got people like, sort of like Noel, Jason, everyone, Nate, like everyone who's served or has something to do with Legion. It's a massive family. It's a, it's a brother and a sisterhood. Yeah. So we all stick together, and that's the main thing, and they help with everything. Literally, I can't. I'd be less that long. They said what they did. <coughs> they do help a lot of people. Yeah. And hopefully now people can see this and. And, and as you've already mentioned, they've, they've they've helped you quite oh, yeah. a lot in the past, haven't they? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, I can't describe how much they've helped me, yeah. and he's made me do this. So. Yeah. But you're paying them back as in in, in, in one way, aren't you? As, as as best you can, you know. Yeah. So remember, Sunday is a week. Tomorrow it's the tenth. Armistice Day the following day on the eleventh. Yeah. You know. Um, Everybody here is, you know, supporting you, supporting the Legion. You know, what, what about everybody else? Why should they get on board? It's just get on board. It's, it, it's everyone's got a, must have a family member who's served. It's, that's because obviously that's what Britain is. Yeah. It, pretty much everyone's served in the families and everything. Yeah. It's member fallen friends. It's also to support everyone still serving, yeah. and people who's obviously use demons are locked away and they don't show it and they say I'm okay. Yeah. But it gives them a bit of support because they'll, they'll look at that and think, yeah, everyone is supporting. So. And let's not forget, it is a charity. Yeah. And, and, and you've raised money for it, haven't you? Yeah. You, definitely. Nathan, and Jace. Tried our best. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Come on. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks, guys.